Today I'll be doing another experiment using golden paints, except this time instead of using white, I'm going to be using black. And instead of using the airbrush medium, I'm going to be using GAC 800. Now this is a product that is meant to prevent praising. Crazing isn't something that I usually have in my paintings, and I don't think I've experienced any up till now with these mixes, but I still want to try it out, you know, just to try out something new. Now, I know also that a lot of people add it when they're using a lot of pouring medium, because using a lot of pouring medium can create crazing, and I think that's pretty much the case in my mix here. But, like I said, I'm trying it out, something different, let's see how it reacts. I did open the bottle and look in there and I saw that it is thicker than the airbrush medium. The airbrush medium is like water. So it really helps to dilute the fluid paints here. These ones are like water also, but these ones are thicker. So since this one is a bit thicker, I might have to add a few drops of water into my mix with the golden fluid to get that right consistency. But I'm going to be filming um, how I prepare my paints. So, I'll be using also a little bit of alcohol, 70% alcohol, that I'll be adding into two colors, these two here, the Liquitex pouring medium, and I'm working on a 10 by 8 inch canvas, and I'll be using my blow dryer to push around the paint. So, let me just set myself up here, and I am going for this.
So this is about half an hour later. Now I kind of tilted it a bit like towards there because I'm gonna see in the time lapse, I'm not sure, but I think the paint moved up it there. <laughs> I'm having all the trouble in the world with these paints, having the paint like stay in place. It always moves towards one side. Now I have to say I love this color palette. And the black, it takes over a bit, but not as much as with other brands of paint. And you can see how the alcohol, what it does in time. A zillion cells created first. But the paint is moved so quickly that after it takes a while before it sets back, it sets back into place. And the alcohol just does what it does. It seems like it pushes away the paint. It reminds me when I started fluid painting, I would drop some drops of alcohol in my paint to see how it reacted. And that's what it did. It just pushed the paint. Sorry for my reflection in the painting, you guys, but it's sunny today and I will not complain. All right, so stay tuned for the dried result. Back with the dried result. And we can say that it dried exactly the same. It looks awesome. A bit, uh, that pink there is a bit more flashier than in reality. It looks a tad darker, I'd say. But it's looking kind of cool, right? Side view. Hope you guys like this. Bye.